Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is gonna be a guide video on how to produce metal in the new uh, Farming Simulator 22 expansion, the Platinum expansion. So we're gonna take a look at that today. Um, we have an early access copy here as we're taking a look at it. So um, in order to produce metal, there's a couple things you're gonna to need to do. Well, first you gotta get the actual ore, the metal ore, and then you gotta bring it to the metal production facility. So um, if we go into here on the map, so this is Silver Run Forest. So on this map, there is a, a iron mine up here. It does lift the mine shaft. It does list it as a production point you can't purchase the land here or anything about this you can't purchase what this does do right here you can see this is the iron ore it just will automatically throw it out here over time this is it's full right now which this only took like two or three days for it to fill up um, so it'll produce it out here it's free for you to grab so you can just grab it from here using a bucket of some kind to get it out of here which and if you do load up in any mode in this game you will have this uh, volvo loader and this this uh dump truck right here ready to go so in order to get the iron ore which is the first step here we're just going to grab this guy right here i'm going to come over here i'm going to grab some of the iron ore right here i have a thousand sixteen in my bucket thousand sixteen liters i'm going to go ahead and just put it in the back of and you can do this using any equipment you might want to get more efficient equipment up here um, as time goes on because you might want to do this more efficiently and then you can place it in here and then you have to transport it to a production facility. The production facility you need is placed right over here. It's this guy right here, the iron furnace. It, you can place it, it's in here, right here, iron furnace, $180,000 to buy. There is not one located on the map itself, at least not that I could find. I've been checking around, I've been looking a lot on here. I didn't see it anywhere. I do not believe it's on here. Um, and I've heard other content creators have not been able to find one on here either. So you have to place that somewhere. I placed it right here. I just had to buy this land around it to place it. And again, if you want to sell it, you can of course go in here and you can you can sell it if you'd like to sell it or rename it or whatever you want to do. But you place that down, and what that does, if we go to our production menu, it gives you the ability to make metal. So this is how many cycles per month it's going to do. So I have currently set to one day per month, so it's going to do this every day for me. So it's going to do this recipe 24 times a day because I have it set to one day months. Now, if you have two day months, then this is going to do this 12 times per day and so on and so forth. It's going to divide it out by um, however many days in the month. So it's going to take 416 liters of iron ore and then make it into 380 liters of metal. And it's set to storing currently. You can set it to selling. It will automatically then sell. You do take a hit if you do that. Or distributing. If you have another production facility that requires metal, you can have it automatically distribute there. We're going to have it set to storing for now, though. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate it, which it's not going to run anything right now because there's no metal in it. Um, but it will take some time to... But once we get some metal in there, it will start rolling. So if we take whatever we have here, and I'm actually just going to fill this the rest of the way up with... Uh, metal and kind of the, the cheaty way if you will um just because i want to um get get this kind of moving a little bit so there we go i got some iron ore in here that way i don't have to do it all by hand just for the sake of the tutorial but if we take this we drive it over to our mine you can see the input input ugh, i can't talk of course the input right there in front of us straight ahead where that little dump icon is so if we go right over here we just pull up Right here, you can see it has that icon to dump it in. Of course, we're going a little too quick here. We'll back back up to it. Right there. So if you start dumping, you can see there's nice animation that's going in there, which I really like that animation. Once it's all out, perfect. It's heading in there, doing its thing. No big deal. Okay, so there. It's all going in there, doing its thing. Now, if you do want to access... Um, the production menu, this is where your pallets are going to spawn in this yellow area right here. You can see that yellow box there. But if you do want to access the production menu, you can go and hit there. Or you can just obviously hit enter and go in this way. So it is it is working currently. It's currently making metal. So if we just fast forward a little bit of time here. Let's maybe set up to a thousand times. We should get a pallet of metal. You can see it's slowly making more and more. We should at some point get a pallet out here of metal. There we go. We got at least one pallet sitting out there. Um, so however many liters are in a pallet, we'll come up here and we'll check that. So right here has 1,000 pieces of metal in it. So basically 1,000 liters of metal. It does weigh 1.3 tons, so you will need a forklift to move it. Um, you can use super strength if you wanted to access that. You can use super strength to move it around. That's how I'm moving it right now. But that is how you make metal. Now, you might ask, why do you want to make metal? Well, one, you can sell it if you wanted to take it to a sell point. If we go down, oh, i got to go up to the right spot here. If we go down to the very bottom here where we have all of our new products and stuff down here, metal, you can take it and you can sell it to all these different locations on this map. So you can sell it and make some good money doing that, which is pretty cool. So there you go. Now, the other thing you can do as well is you can take metal and you now can make some other materials. So um, I'm going to have on your screen right now pop up. This is the new production chains option for um, FS22 Platinum Expansion. So you see here the iron ore is going to go into that furnace in the upper right hand corner. Then you can use that iron or that metal, excuse me, to make either barrels or 
uh, buckets or bathtubs at the barrel factory or at the fancy furniture factory. You can use it to make um, armoires. I don't think it's needed for the chairs or the tables. I think it's just the armoire that needs it. So you can use it to make other things, which is pretty cool. So it kind of just adds that um, extra thing added in um, for um, you to be able to do in terms of the game. Now, the other thing you can use it for is if you are working on the roller coaster, which that's going to pop up on your screen right now, you can see in stage one, uh, or steps one through four, step five and step six or 11 all require metal in there. You can see as their ingredients, so you're gonna need to use it for that as well. And in addition to that, what's gonna pop on your screen is the boat yard project. So if you wanted to build boats, you can see that you need metal for step one um, in order to build boats. So that is a couple reasons why you might actually um, want that metal there. But anyhow, guys, there you guys go. That is how to produce metal in FS22, the platinum expansion there. If you have not pre-ordered the expansion down below in the description, you can use a link down there to pre-order it right now. If you order it now, it'll give you 5% off if you do it before November 15th when it releases. If you pre-order it, you get that 5% discount. And if you use that link down below, that will go to support the channel. So it does help out a lot. But anyhow, if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.